Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here, and today we'll be checking out Under the Ocean. This is a 2D survival exploration game that has a heavy emphasis on crafting. The game is being developed by Near Enough Games, and it is currently an early alpha. Very early alpha. In fact, so early that there are significant changes coming to the game, and I almost... Um, I almost wasn't going to show you guys this game as of yet because there are such major changes planned. I however wanted to give you guys at least a brief idea of what Under the Ocean is all about because I think it's a great concept and it's something that I'm interested in. So I just wanted to show you some of the early stages of where the game's at at the moment. Uh, there's, a, there's a few general gameplay modes you can go through, a base game, free build, or random. This is a sort of a randomly generated world, free build, focusing on a crafting whatever you want, but the base game is where I'd like to start off by showing you. So we're going to go ahead and reset the game and push play and hop right in as we check out Under the Ocean. Okay, so once again, this is a survival exploration game that has a heavy emphasis on crafting. So think Minecraft, Don't Starve, any of those survival games, it's, it's sort of the same general premise. You are exploring a world and then picking up objects within that world and using those objects to craft. The, the reason I wanted to show you this game is because I, I really like the tone behind it. I like the music for one and um, I like the crafting system that they've implemented. I think it's pretty neat. Now there are significant changes coming. They've actually released a roadmap of changes. The thing is like 20 plus pages long. It's crazy. There's a big overhaul uh, plan in the works. This is very early alpha, so please keep that in mind as we take a look at the game. All right, so starting off here, this is my character. It's big blue blob thingy with a funny looking head and you can mouse over it and you're going to notice his name is player and we're going to have some indicators at the bottom of the screen that will tell us what's going on with our character if he gets hurt if he's hungry if he's thirsty all of that information will be displayed there at the bottom and then over here in the lower left we got a couple of things number one our journal when when things occur that will be written down over here and then also this is our crafting screen now this screen may actually end up getting completely removed. Again, there's a total overhaul coming to the system, but I still wanted to show you uh, where we are at right now with this game's development. So when you move into the screen, it actually pauses the action and allows you to interact with and move these objects around. And in doing so, you're actually able to combine things, put them together, to form various creations. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mouse to the top here and then click on this, and this is my inventory essentially. And I like to put a few of these objects right here. We've got this plank here, which is construction material. And then we also have uh, this anchor point, which is use it, using to link uh, points uh, points of planks together. Okay, so we're gonna hit spacebar, which will unpause and get rid of that crafting screen. And now we can move around with our character and just interact with objects. Now we're gonna try to find some tools. The first thing we have got here, I'm supposed to be able to move that. What the heck's going on? Okay, sorry, let me try to first move this over here. There we go. So I'm gonna be able to put this up here into my inventory. And then in doing so, I can click on that and that will equip it to my character. So I'm now able to use this to smash some of these crates. Before I do that though, I'd like to move the crates out of the water. I would also like to pick up a few of these sticks here. I'm gonna put this up here. Um, now this game certainly needs some work, and like I said, they are they are planning to make pretty big changes to this coming up in the future. Um, it just right now, a few of the things that take place in this game, such as the inventory management and the crafting system, it can be a little clunky. The developer is aware of it, and that's why they've released a 20 plus page roadmap. Um, so again, just bear those things in mind as we're going through here. Um, if you're going to notice clunkiness, you would be right, and I would agree. Uh, but luckily, they plan to address that. So I can now, now that I've got this equipped hammer, I can break that crate and see what we get. And actually, you're going to notice here, I got myself a nice little rifle. And there are some bullets right here as well. So we're going to put all that stuff up in our inventory. And we've got these crates over here. So I'm going to put those over here, and we're going to smash these as well. Hopefully, when this one breaks open doesn't go flying as far as the other one did we got ourselves a damaged firecracker that I can light with some flint and another oh that thing went off the screen well that's terrible and <laughs> what happened over there okay uh, we've also got this little spearhead right here and a tomato which we can eat if we get hungry so notice down over there I was hungry and then upon eating it that hunger bar was removed I'm still thirsty however all right so we're gonna move on over to the next screen and this will introduce us to some trees. Now the trees 
allow us to get planks, which allows us to do crafting. And this is what I really, the, the, really the system in this game that I really wanted to show you just because I, I think it is pretty neat what they've currently got in place here. Um, so we got a few more things over here as well, and we've got some uh, some dry leaves that we could set on fire. We've got a saw, and um, hmm, do I already have a saw? No, it looks like, oh yes I do, I do have a saw. Okay, so we don't need that saw right there. Certainly an overabundance of uh, materials here in the story mode that I'm currently in right now. At least some of the base materials, but I guess if you were to lose some, it'd be worth it. So, so far you've just seen me smash crates. Well, let me show you what some of the crafting stuff's all about. So I'm gonna smash this one, see if there's anything in here. Not really, we just got some uh, some damaged crate piece for, that I could use for firewood. And uh, we also have got some dry stuff over here, some flint I can use to start fires. We're gonna put that in inventory as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to those trees and I'd like to show you what we can do. So what I will be doing here is first and foremost, we will chop down the trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip my fire ax and we will chop down these trees. I'm gonna chop it down, it's gonna slowly go to heavily damage and then once it is down on the ground, I'm gonna chop down this other tree as well. And then once that is down on the ground, we can go ahead and break that down into planks. And I do that by grabbing my saw and dragging it over until it says craft, which it should. There it is. Okay, so it says, notice how just that green button on the right hand side just says craft as I go over this. So we're gonna let go. And then all of a sudden, woohoo, we got a ton of planks. It's really weird. It's really, uh, well, it needs work, <laughs> like I mentioned before. But um, again, this system is gonna, going to get uh, s smoothed out a little bit, but I, what you're about to see is probably one of the coolest things and uh, what I really like about this game. So I can now take these planks here and I can form these into a house. But before I do that, let me chop down this one last tree here because I'd like to get as many of these planks as I could. Okay, and then we're gonna click and drag the tree over here. And then go ahead and go up and let's go and where is my saw? There it is. And okay, come on, I want to do it to the tree. Nope, I don't think I don't think it was about to do what I wanted it to, so let me make sure that we get this right here. There it is, right there. There it is. Alright, so we've got ourselves a ton more planks. Now, we've got all these planks sitting here. Come on, man. It's so buggy. <laughs> Alpha, early alpha. All right, so we've got ourselves all these old planks here. Now what we can do? Well, I can hit spacebar again, which will bring up my crafting menu. And now I can freely take these pieces, I can rotate these pieces, and I can use them to form myself a house. Now the first thing I'd like to do though before that is we're gonna lay down a couple of these. And, oh, I wanna go back. Come on, there we go. And now that we've got a couple of those laid down, what I can do is take the hammer and put them over here, which will craft a door. So now I've got a door, which will be an entryway into my house. And um, I will actually, do, no, I don't wanna put it in the next room. Go back, there you go. And so as you can see, this this game is sectioned off into all these various little, uh, little areas that do have loading screens. Okay, so we want my door. And we are going to form form the house over here, and we'll have the entryway right here. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and pause and go into the crafting menu. And oh no, the door is opening that way. Can we go? I guess it can. I guess it doesn't matter, huh? I don't know if, okay, well whatever, there we go. So we're gonna put the door right here, and then we can take these planks and we can form a house. So what I will do is I'm gonna actually just make a wooden roof like this and we can go, I don't want it to be two. Am I going to be able to jump up to that? Yes, I am, okay, wonderful. All right, so there we go, that is that. And then we can go ahead, <clears throat> excuse me, go ahead and do this. Spacebar again. So I can use all of these materials to form a house and I'm able to put this thing together how I please and then it will form and just be a solid house. Now. Beyond that, you're gonna notice over here, these are essentially the layers for the foreground and background. So what I can do next is I can take these big wooden planks here, I can grab an individual one, and using my mouse wheel, I'm gonna scroll it all the way back to the background, and I will place these in the back. And I guess I could just go, let's set it 
set it flush with this right here because this seems like it's pretty much going to be the base. Oh boy, where did that go? <laughs> where did it go? Where did where did that I I just Okay, well that's fine. Don't mind that. We're fine here. We're going to put this right here. Once it turns green, it should be all set. There we go. And we can continue to move from the foreground to the background to place these objects together. There we go. Go back over here. Whoa, no, nope, didn't want you guys to connect. So we're going to hit shift to disconnect. What are you doing? You're not. I don't want you guys to be connected together. Why are you connect? Gosh darn it. Well, <laughs> beyond it being a little bit buggy right now. Um, okay, I'm going to grab this one and then go ahead and put this over here like this. I guess I did not realize. There we go. And I should, I really should be able to disconnect that one, but it's clearly not working so um, but anyways the point is that I can form these together and although this is taking some time um, and hopefully that's something else that they're able to address because this is quite a lengthy process so if they can make this smoother to the in the sense that it would not be as difficult of a process then that would be ideal okay so I think those ones yeah I do have one in my way there is that right there okay so those ones are right there so I want to send this back twofold there we go so there you go got those ones further in the background and this one's a little too far in the foreground so I'm gonna move that back a little bit there we go wonderful so I've got the back of the house and I could also formulate a front portion of the house as well and actually you know what I think I could do I could probably put these yeah I can I can stick all these together here just to make this a little bit easier. So just stick all these together and then we'll be able to put all of that as one big piece. A little bit easier. So yes, this is how the crafting system works. Um, I realize it seems uh, like a little slow paced right now and uh, a little clunky. And like I said, incredibly early alpha, big changes coming. Yes, it is clunky. I realize that, I'm well aware. Don't, don't, you don't have to tell me because I know. Um, so we're gonna rotate this whole thing around and then I'm actually gonna put this in the foreground here, just like that. Okay, that was, so you can see when we're out of the house, there's a foreground to it. And then when we're in the house, it disappears and we can see the logs in the background as well. Now there's a whole bunch of different things that we, you can make. So I made a door. You can make thatching for the roof. You can make uh, the various planks by cutting down the trees, stone blocks. Um, you can make a window, so I could make a window as well to put within, uh, put in here. You can make yourself a bed, a sail, corner pieces, a wood scoop. What would I use a wood scoop for? I don't know. Generator, light bulbs, fireplace. There's a ton of stuff. You're clearly not going to see that all here because uh, I'd, like, I'd like to show you a little bit more about this game beyond just this basic stuff. But uh, I think that gives you a good idea of sort of what you're capable of doing. You're able to take all these pieces. You've got these five different layers of foreground background and you're able to use that to make these dynamic constructions this dynamic house for example I think that's really neat I think that's a really neat system as um, as un as as buggy as it seems now which it is I'm not going to deny that it's definitely a bit buggy definitely needs a bit of work um, but I think in that little display there you see the potential of what the construction in this game could have now there's more than that. It's a survival exploration game. So we're moving from area to area and we're encountering all these different things right in here. I've got myself a bucket and I can use this bucket to actually gather water, which is what I'm going to want to do. And I wonder, this should be fresh water here. So we're going to try to gather some of that and then go over and drink it. Wonderful. So now my thirst is done for, done with, done for. My thirst is all done. I'm all set. Now I'm going to hold on to that bucket so that I can make sure that I can drink some more fresh water once we do come across it. And we got a few things over here. We've got these little, uh, this cut grass here that we can use for fires. It says right here, dry out and use to light fires. Wonderful. Come on, 
want you to stay up here. We are supposed to wait till it turns green when it's up in that area, so that's why that was having problems. Now, the crafting system, more things that I can craft. Okay, so let me show you this here. I can bring up the crafting system. I can bring down this here and also take this tip, a spearhead, and I can put those together and make myself a spear. Ta-da, so now I have a spear. Now if I just put that in my inventory, I just need to find a spot where it turns green and then I can click on it and now my guy has a spear. Whoop-de-doo, and I can throw that spear. The annoying part is though, that I've got to click it and drag it back into my inventory and re-click on it every, every single time. That is incredibly annoying and one of those things that I hope that they fix. Okay, so we got some fish here. Try to spear it. Hunt with a spear. Oh, maybe I have to do it out of the water. Okay. So let's see here. We got some fish. You guys gonna come back here? I'd like to hunt you. Uh, this item right here. Oh, damn it. This item right here, uh, Yaro, it can be used to heal wounds. So if you're wounded, you can take care of it with that. And we did get some flint. So why don't I actually dry leaves to set on fire with flint? Why don't we see if we can do that here? Did I get flint? I could have sworn that I had flint. There's flint. Set fire. Let's try that again. To like, there we go. So now that I've set fire, my cold that I uh, or I was chilly before, now that is gone, and you're able to use other objects to fuel the fire. You can see I'm getting warm. You can actually eventually set yourself on fire, so you need to be careful about that. So I can set that log on fire there, and you're gonna notice now that I mouse over it, it says dry plank on fire, <laughs> construction material. So we've got this world that we can interact with there are various enemy types uh, particular the ones that i've seen on the island so far we've, there's been some crabs and boars we got a hen right here i wonder if i can try to spear that hen let me see if i can you know what i'm going to do here let's let's load up the rifle that i picked up earlier so how we do this is we drop down the rifle on the ground and then it is empty Zero of six bullets. However, we also, luckily enough, had some ammunition. So we're gonna go ahead and reload that rifle, put it back up in our inventory. They really need to find a smoother way of doing this because this is very annoying. And then we can grab our rifle. Okay, so let's go ahead and find that bird again. Shoot him. <laughs> okay, wonderful. So, hunt for food. Dead chicken. Put them up in our inventory, fantastic. And I wanna get rid of the rifle because I don't wanna use it unless it's absolutely necessary. So there's this whole world that we can explore now in the game mode that I am currently in right now, uh, this layout is set. But as you noticed at the start screen, there's um, there's a free flowing mode. Attach items to driftwood, right? I got that, that's how I made a spear. Uh, there's, a, there's a randomly generated world, a procedurally generated world that you can do. And there's also a crafting world where you can just focus on building. I'm guessing that they, in that one, they just give you a ton of materials. Oh, I was able to kill them with the axe, nice. In that world, I'm assuming they just give you a ton of materials that you can uh, just build with. And we got some more, a bean plant, that's good. Get one of those, let's go ahead and, yeah, got the crab. I'm gonna take some, cra crab meat would be good. Crab meat and hen, what are you doing? Get ourselves a nice surf and turf going. That'd be fantastic. Okay. All right. So, um, <laughs> I guess that's really everything that I wanted to show you guys. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction. I'm going to keep playing a little bit uh, just so you guys can see. Check, take a look at this beehive. Be careful when dragging. Ooh. Wonder if I can frustrate this thing. Any bees going to come out? Oh, yep. Notice those little bees, there are little bees buzzing around there. I'm gonna stay away from those, forget that. But yeah, I'm gonna keep going just so we can encounter some things. Uh, I've got myself a tomato here. Let's grab that because that is some good food. Let's say our little blue friend is a vegan. It'd be nice to have options for him. Get another tomato right there. I don't know why there's so many tomatoes lying all over this uh, shore here, but I don't think toma do tomatoes, I don't believe tomatoes grow right on the beachfront, do they? That doesn't seem right to me. And more tomatoes even, jeez, I'm a crow. Lots of tomatoes, wonderful. What is this right here? Flint, I already have some flint. So you will notice it's getting dark. There is a day-night cycle as well. 
and just it's a neat it's just a neat game I think uh, it's again I like the tone I like the vibe I think it's a neat it's a world that feels neat and the music is uh, also very appealing to myself and I think it's a game that has potential now, whether or not it lives up to that potential whether or not they make the necessary changes to make this a great experience it's hard to say it's far too early in development to figure that out but Hopefully I've given you guys uh, at least a good look at what this game could be. Uh-oh, there's a boar. <laughs> okay. All right, we're just going to leave him there. Um, I've done enough damage. Uh, he's, done, he's done for, so we're gonna, I would like to grab the pickaxe here because we can use the pickaxe to bust through rocks and... Um, I'm just going to keep moving here. We got ourselves a nice little bridge, and we could go into, if we wanted to, go into build mode, and I could actually just take this bridge apart just like this, and then watch it all fall down. I mean, neat, huh? I, I think it's neat. I, 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 I think it's really cool that you're able to sort of interact with this world, and then immediately, immediately see those results in your playing. You know what I mean? Like being able to build a house and then walk through it, just as an example. Or to dissemble a bridge like that. Okay, so we got some stone blocks over there that we could hit to crumble if we wanted to. But I want to go down here and keep on moving. So we've got some vines up here. I've only made it a little bit further. I spent a bunch of time earlier today just uh, playing around with the crafting. And it took me forever, admittedly, to make a reasonable looking house. I mean, I think you can imagine after seeing oh, this isn't going so well <laughs> the platforming see the problem here is that since spacebar isn't used to jump in this game um, it's just a weird system like I have to hit up to to uh, to jump but when you also have to hit up to climb the vine it just makes things a little bit awkward as you can probably imagine oops oh boy I just hurt myself pretty bad, and I'm hungry, so let's go ahead and eat. Got some very neat fireflies. I like the uh, effects of that. I like the lighting. We've got a jellyfish, which I probably want to be wary of. Got some rocks that we could break through, but I like to just keep moving left. So let's talk about, um, again, the fact that it is a piece of flint useful for starting fires. I already know I've got one of those somewhere. This. I don't think there's anywhere to start a fire over here. Okay. Um, so let's talk about, again, super early development. What are some of the changes that they've got planned? Well, um, they are completely overhauling the crafting system. They're going to be removing this separate screen and doing it in an entirely different way. The, the crafting system itself will still work the way it works in, in terms of you being able to take these things and build a house like you saw me build it. Um, but the, the way that is done the actual mechanics behind doing the crafting, those will be changed. Um, they're, ov they're overhauling the UI, they're adding more illness uh, objects to this game, things like my sore foot and chili and stuff like that. They are adding character creation. So this character right now that you're seeing is a default character for the early alpha build, but you're going to be able to uh, build a character to your liking, there's going to be all sorts of different customization for it. Uh, they're improving the platforming, thank god, because it's pretty pretty rough as is. Uh, they're going to be adding new enemies and a multiplayer to this game as well. So there's definitely lots of improvements. And again, I think the major, major reason that I wanted to show you this game today, um, even though there are still so many changes coming and it, the game upon release might look quite different than how it looks now, um, it's because I like the concepts here, and I really do like the way that crafting works. N not so much the way it is done mechanically, um, but but the way you're able to to build those things and just maneuver them within the environment. And I'm I'm having a hard time here. I'm trying to break through so that I can make it through to the other side. And um, I'm just uh, I can probably crawl here. Okay, I'm still not able to do this. I'm supposed to be able to do this here because I've done this before, and my guy. Oh, this is really annoying. What just happened? He just fell on his face. What just happened? Can you... Man, this is frustrating. <laughs> Needs work. Needs work. No question about that. Uh, but it's promising. And I like... Oh, man. I like the concepts here. Can I, do I, do I just have to move these or what's going on here? I don't, 
I don't quite understand what my problem is right now. I, I, sh I really should be able to. <laughs> uh, I should be able to just keep on moving. There we go. Holy moly, that took forever. All right. And I can do this right now, which... Oh, wait, I was able to do this. Okay, whatever. I was... I used to be able to, um... Man. The platform right now is rough. It is really rough. I... I... I don't know. <laughs> it's got potential. It's some great concepts. And I love the environment. Oh my lord, that was that's just horrendous. That is horrendous. Terrible. There's one part I wanted to show you guys though, so I'm gonna keep on pushing here. I think this is it. I think there's a big there's supposed to be a big fall right here. And I think this is it. No, that's not it. Where's that big fall? Am I supposed to keep moving? I think I need to move through there, right? Yeah. Oh you know what I could do? I could build myself a bridge going through to this way. Watch this. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So we've got this little thing up here that I did not explore last time I played this. And I can just build myself a bridge to it. I mean, that is cool. How is that not cool? That is cool. That is very cool. All right, guys. So once again, this has been Forrest checking out Under the Ocean. I think we'll just wrap up this video. Um, I wanted to give you an idea of the general concepts behind this game. And I... Oh. Oh, that was painful. And I think that you've got it. I think that you've got a good idea of what Under the Ocean is about. Changes are being made. I've got a sore foot and now I'm walking all funny. And I'm having a hard time platforming, which makes sense. So why don't we heal ourselves up? This is a 2D survival exploration game that has an emphasis on crafting. It is being developed by Near Enough Games. Currently available for Steam Early Access. The developer is looking for input into the development process. They're looking for community feedback. Now you can buy in with early access for $6.99. It will get you the game once it completes and it'll let you feel, oh my lord, there's a shark. Uh, I'm guessing we want to stay away. Why is he swimming sideways? That's weird. I'm gonna to try to stay away from that thing. I think that that's probably a good idea. <laughs> shark. Come here, I want to see if I can shoot him with my pistol. Hopefully he keeps on moving. He's swimming funny. Uh, yeah, you can pick this up on Steam right now for $6.99. It's going to go through a lot of changes. Still needs a lot of work, but it's still, I think, some great concepts here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. Keep watching and keep owning Shoot the Shark. Did that do anything? Oh, I shot him. I'm out of rounds. All right, we're going in. I can't swing my axe under ground, underwater. Extremely dangerous. But he's bleeding, right? Oh, he's dead, I killed him, yes! Can I pick him up? Doubtful. He's dead. Shark? <laughs> oh, I can't, come on, I wanna put you out of the water. Gosh darn it. He's gonna get me, 